Oh my God, Adrian, there you go. There you go. Oh, man, what the hell is your problem, buddy? There are times when interviews go too far by asking intrusive or improper questions and making unacceptable comments. There are a number of celebrities that try to change the topic of discussion, but there are also famous people who abruptly finish interviews by standing up to leave or react impulsively. So here we are with the top occasions where the celebrities' interviews gone too far. Hello and welcome to our channel, Celeb Deluxe. In today's video, we are going to discuss the scenarios where celebrities got hit by the unprofessional interviewer's questions. So make sure to watch the video till the end to find out more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Let's get into it. Nicki Minaj interview with Joe Budden on Rory and the Broomstick The long-awaited episode of Joe Budden's podcast in which Nicki Minaj appears came out. The two put an end to their previous beef but started a new one. When Rory Farrell talked about people on social media and how readily they can be swayed by thoughts that they can put out there in reference to the Nikki hate train, this infuriated Nikki to which she replied, when she chooses not to address something, then what? People don't stop believing lies about her. She said, he doesn't make any sense at all. She further stated that people are free to make such a statement when it is not about them. If every day I go outside and say, <laughs> mm. I just saw Rory in the in the in the cafeteria sticking a broom up, up someone's ass. Oh, and then and then I go on Queen <laughs> Radio where there's millions of listeners and I said, yo, you know that dude Rory, right? <laughs> Why I just seen him stick a broom up a nigga ass in the cafeteria. <laughs> are are you allowed to should you not defend that? <laughs> millions of people, whether they know you or not, will now know. And it, whether it's true or not will say, you have stuck a broom up a nigga's ass. Great. Is that okay? She added, she might go on an episode of Queen Radio and start a lie about him. And then laughing at her is not cool when it's about a lot of celebs out there using drugs and killing themselves. It's not cool. They might laugh and say it's cool, but it's not. If you experience the warmth, it would not be a good time. John Rivers asked about Maria Carey's weight on red carpet. Maria Carey is one of the most successful, talented, and amazing people in the history of the world. However, the media has treated her in a manner that is so unfair, so vicious, and overall so poorly. One such event occurred when John River embarrassed her on red carpet. In an interview with the Billboard, she said she remembered the time when John Rivers on a red carpet asked about her weight. Now, everyone said you, you gained weight. You did not. You look fine. Gained weight. Aren't you tired of all the stupid rumors? You know how it is. You know, what are you going to do? That's life. She said it was horrible that Rivers asked about her weight right at the time when she was going to perform at the stage live with Whitney Houston. So how long are you in the makeup chair for Maleficent? Interviewer asked Angelina Jolie how much time she spends on makeup chair. It's not the first time Angelina Jolie faced unprofessional interviewers. Once she was questioned about how much time she spends on a makeup chair, a whole day maybe, but the interviewer then explained she was talking about the makeup for special effects for the movies, such as Maleficent, but asked a second double meaning question, did you scare any of your children with that? A reporter asks a sexist question to Lady Gaga. The Lady Gaga Daily account took to Facebook to share a video in which the musician not only responded to an insensitive and sexist remark, but also took the opportunity to further the conversation around gender and sexual equality. The journalist asked Lady Gaga in the video if she was concerned that having sexual references would damage the music. This was perhaps not the most logical question to ask, seeing as how Lady Gaga's music addresses sexuality and its relation to identity, which is something that would be almost impossible to do without the occasional sexual reference or two. Her response, I don't have any fear, are you frightened? She put a transition into a commentary on double standards, which she began by saying, You see, if I was a guy and I was sitting here with a cigarette in my hand, grabbing my crotch and talking about how I make music because I love fast cars and fucking girls, you'd call me a rock star. Eve O'Nee questioned the young Britney Spears about the size of her breasts. Eve O'Nee, a television journalist from the Netherlands, met with Spears when she was 17 years old for an interview. During the course of their chat, he made the following statement at one point. Subject we didn't discuss. Mm -hmm. What was that? Everyone's talking about it. Right. Well, your breasts. <laughs> My breasts. You seem to get furious when 
A talk show host comes up with this <laughs> subject. After a brief moment of laughter, Spears stated that people have the right to do whatever they want to their bodies and added that she does not have implants in her body. It's all from today's video. What's your opinion about it? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.